Warren's River Rock at the Amp Concert Series coming back this summer. First News anchor Stan Boney has more. I stood one day last week with Sunrise Entertainment President Ken Idaris on the stage of Warren's Amphitheater, looking out onto the empty seats that will be at least somewhat filled this summer for the River Rock at the Amp Concert Series. Well, May 29th, we have our first show, and uh, maybe some people think we're crazy, but we're hoping with the vaccinations and everything opening up. This was what a River Rock concert looked like pre-COVID. People packed in to watch a Led Zeppelin cover band, which will play again this year on July 3rd. A sellout for a River Rock concert used to mean 5,000 people. We're working on that right now. It won't be near that. So I, I'm not sure yet, but we'll have a little better definition. And I'm sure that number is going to change as we get closer to May 29th. As it stands today, there are restrictions in place. Well, it's called 1061 as of right now, which means 10 people per group. Don't have to know, you know, you have to know them. I mean, they don't be family members. Six feet socially distance, and as of right now, a mask. But the business model for River Rock concerts will be the same. Cover bands with acts from mostly the 70s and 80s like Elton John, Van Halen, ELO, Journey, Queen, and Jimmy Buffett. And of course, we have Wish You Were Here, which is Pink Floyd. Uh, and some of our usual, you know, like the Zeppelin bands and uh, the, the Eagles and, you know, bands like that. Opening night is Straight On, which is Hart, and Fleetwood Mac. Most importantly, it gets people into downtown Warren, which has a series of new restaurants clamoring for people. But I think it draws a lot of people downtown. And, you know, it's, a very, it's just a very positive story. Instead of something negative, it's very positive. Five, 6,000 people downtown. It was wonderful. The restaurants were full. I couldn't get a reservation. And that's, that's wonderful. In Warren, Stan Boney, WKBN 27 First News.